Hello Quarry Bank Primary, it's Miss Calderbank from Dudley Performing Arts here. I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. We'd usually have our music lessons in school, but because we're in a big lockdown, we thought it'd be a really nice idea to send you a video each week so you can still take part in some musical activities as part of your music lesson. So in today's lesson, we are going to talk about the word rhythm and we're going to learn about two different types of notes and how we can clap these different rhythms and make some funky tunes. And we're going to also have a creative task at the end to see if you can come up with your own rhythms and practice drawing the notes that we've learnt about today. So I really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Please feel free to pause and go back through the video at any time if you need to. In this lesson, we're going to be recapping the musical element of rhythm. Rhythm is the pattern of notes that is used to make our music. Without these patterns, our music would be very dull and boring, so it is important that we use these rhythms when creating or performing any songs or pieces. These are the first two notes that we are going to explore and recap. The first one is a crotchet. This is worth one beat and we often use the word T to describe the rhythm of this note. The second one is a quaver. This is worth half a beat. We need two of these joined together to make one whole beat. We often use the word coffee to describe the rhythm of this note. So together, that would be T, coffee, T, coffee, T, coffee, and so on. Here are four short rhythms. Let's have a go at saying the rhythm first using the words tea and coffee in the correct orders and then afterwards clap the rhythm. Number one. Tea, 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 coffee. Number two. Tea, coffee, tea, tea. Number three, coffee, coffee, tea, tea. Number four, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. This time I'm going to clap the rhythms again, but in a different order. It is your task to work out which order the rhythms are in. Here is the first rhythm. Here is the second rhythm. Here is the third rhythm. And here is the fourth rhythm. Now it is your turn to have a go at creating your own rhythms using the notes that we have learnt about today. See how creative you can be. I hope you all enjoyed those rhythm tasks that we've learnt about today and that you've got some really good ideas for your own rhythms to have a go at in a minute. Once you've done your own rhythms, move on to the singing task that I've set you. You'll find this information on the other link that you've been sent this week. You're going to learn a song called The Big Red Bus. And this is all about a big red bus. And you're going to get to do lots of different actions. You might be able to learn how to drive the bus as you're singing along. And one of our singing teachers called Sue Simpson is going to help you with the song and the lyrics. So I really hope you enjoy that. Have a good week and I'll see you next week. Bye.